Hello friends, Techman Pat here. Welcome to a Dirt Report. This is going to be interesting because finally we have a date. A date, the moment the NBN will get rid of copper. Or rather, 95% of Australia should be on fiber to the premises or another technology other than copper. This is gonna be really interesting. I think it's an exciting time. We're nearly at the end. What's gonna happen after everything's rolled out? What kind of upgrades are coming soon? We'll only find out after the intro. Let's get started, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's start reading what NBNCO has just announced. Okay, I've highlighted the most important parts, but let me give you a bit of context. NBNCO has announced upgrades for the remaining homes and businesses on fiber to the node, which is fiber to the box down the street and then copper to your home. Now, this solution was the in-between that the coalition and the previous uh, government term did away when they tried to do fiber to the premises from the get-go, which meant that the cost blew out by almost double and it also took way longer. But we're here now, we're at a moment in time that we're getting very close to a full rollout or semi-full because 95% is the number of Australian premises that are gonna be ready to upgrade to fiber to the premises. So 622,000 homes and businesses are to go and that'll get us from the 90% at the moment to 95. Now it's backed by an equity investment of up to $3 billion from the Australian government. And that's in addition to the $800 million that NB and Co themselves are throwing into the pot. Again, really interesting because some of the bonuses that the C-suite received were, yeah, they, I mean, they were in the millions. Now to emphasize, this doesn't actually mean that there will be 95% of Australia using fiber. It means that 95% of premises and homes will be able to connect. Whether they choose to is another story, whether they're on 5G or Starlink or another technology, or they don't want it at all, it's gonna be up to the people in those homes and premises. Now this begs the question, when is NBN Co expected to complete all these works to get Australia to 95% coverage? Well, according to them, and in this article, it's 20, 30 and that's whoa, another five years from now which is a while away when the whole project was expected to only take 10 years 20 years ago <laughs> Now, today the average household consumes more than 10 times the amount across 22 internet connected devices at home. Now we've done a lot of videos about how much internet Australians are using and every year it's going up and up and up. The beauty about fiber is that you do not need to upgrade the cable or the fiber optic cable in the ground, which reduces the cost of upgrades. All you need to do for the next X amount of years is upgrade the hardware on each side to get better performance from the fiber optic cable. Because technically, there's nothing faster than light, as far as we know. Now, the other thing is that potentially in the future, we may need more fiber optic cables for more people, but that's neither here nor there, and there's probably solutions to that. It's not like a house is gonna get another house built on top of it, all around every neighborhood. So there's probably enough to go around for now. According to NBN Co, over 9 million households and businesses are already using fiber to the premises or a fiber solution that includes HFC, but there are 4 million that can now upgrade. So 4 million homes and premises and, and businesses, I guess, that can get fiber, but haven't yet got it, which means there's no income for NBN Co from those 4 million homes. Now, uh, Ellie Sweeney, Chief Executive Officer, said the following, this critical investment will deliver access to better broadband to customers in the remaining part of a fiber to the node footprint. Again, she's not actually referring to all homes and premises, just to the footprint of fiber to the node. So let's be very clear, it's only about the copper. She continues, fast and reliable broadband boosts industry, creates jobs, spikes innovation, strengthens social economic participation. The nation relies on the NBN network. It carries more than 80% of the nation's data and is used more than 20 million people each day. The upgrades will also significantly enhance Australia's economy and dependent economic modeling. The Accenture estimates the economic benefit of upgrading the remaining fiber to the node footprint could increase GDP by 10.4 billion, supporting 10,000 jobs and creating 4,000 business owners over the next decade, leading to more opportunities and growth for communities. Now, before we jump back into the continuation of this, I wanna show you that graph of what she's referring to that's done by Accenture. So uh, Accenture did an economic impact of completing 
getting the upgrade to NBN's fiber network back in December last year. It's funny to say December because it's only like a month ago. Now, this is the slide that's probably most important. As you can see, they're forecasting 10 billion GDP, I guess, growth or a value associated with the upgrades of NBN's fiber to the network. Now this is between 2026 and 2034. So as you can see, 2030 will be when it's fully completed and there's an exponential rise here in the amount of value that the network will be bringing. I'm actually surprised because at 90%, I, I I would expect it to be a lot more, but I guess as things ramp up, as more people get onto the NBN, create potentially businesses that didn't exist before, they have access to technologies that they couldn't have before, information that they didn't know about before, and generally just the speed and reliability of it. So this is an interesting a forecast. I generally don't subscribe to forecasts. I don't think it'll be exactly 10.4 billion, but I do like the optimism and I definitely know, and we've seen it in other countries where fast internet has created jobs and value for the country. I don't think estimates were usually close, but they were still valuable and much more than the cost spent on the NBN or the network of the country. We know for a fact, if we spend 5 billion, we will get more out of it. It is a positive return. So that's great, I think. <laughs> now back to the media release, they do have a couple of notes. The remaining 5% of homes and businesses will require further design works. This would be very complex areas or further away from nodes. Um, this is gonna be problematic and most of those people are gonna go to other solutions for now anyway, including uh, NBN's SkyMaster. Now to qualify for the NBN full upgrade, that has not changed. You still need to get the 100 megabits plan down. And let me tell you about my NBN provider. And time, you may have seen the lawn tail name gently kicked around on this channel a few times, but I finally made the swap. My NBN connection is now serviced by lawn tail and I'm going to happily recommend it to you. I have been absolutely stoked with the performance thus far. So if you're looking for a very flexible, fast, low ping for all that gaming goodness NBN supplier with great customer service and not one of the big players who see you as a number, then check out lawn tail. Use the code techmanpat below to sign up and you'll get a $25 credit on your account. And your NBN connection will be swapped within a few hours with absolutely no hassle. Lawntail is flexible with no lock in contracts with plenty of features for the techie folks out there. So check the links below. Thanks and back to the video. And additionally, funding was received from the Victorian government for the fiber to the node to the premises upgrades. And that's for 100,000 premises under the Connecting Victoria program, which is really interesting. So every state has a little bit of a program. Well, not every state, a couple of states have it. Um, um, and here are some of the breakdown numbers. We've got uh, quite a lot of regional ones still for New South Wales, Victoria, only 9,000 regional, Queensland, a lot of regional, South Australia, lots of regional, WA, lots of regional, and Tasmania, quite a few compared to the 2,000 metros. ACT, 96,000, no regional, interesting. And Northern Territory, 2,000. So you can see that the amount here and the reason it's taking longer is that the regional parts of Australia require a lot more uh, work in the ground, a lot more digging, a lot more civil work. So there you have it, folks. Fiber to the node is going away. We can say goodbye to copper. It is finally going to be done in 2030. Neither here nor there, but we know at least that there is an end date to it. NBN Co is aiming for it. They've got funding to achieve it. There's only 622,000 homes to go. It's really, really exciting. Will it translate into GDP growth? That is going to be the big part of probably a lot of elections in the future. They're gonna be talking about, has it actually brought value or was it a waste of money? I think I'm on the side of the fence that it's going to bring heaps of value to the country, to the people. I know it has for me, it's sped up my work, it's sped up my side gigs. And of course, I love watching 4K content without buffering. Friends, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching today's Dirt Report. I'll catch you all in another one. Let me know your thoughts below. Bye.